Okay, this is Jerry Carvassia again. I'd like to explore making a black and white from a color image today in our tone and uh, color correction uh, information package. Well, basically we're in Photoshop CS4 and then we're going to explore a variety of ways to make the black and white. So what I've done is I've created two similar files, one to be used as a reference and the other one to be used as the one to create the black and white. There's certainly the grayscale feature under Mode Grayscale. takes an image to black and white by discarding all the color information. Not probably the, my favorite way to go because then you're limited to just making a contrast change. Um, so we'll Command-Z that. The other one is to use the Channel Mixer feature. The Channel Mixer feature allows you to um, use the separations of red, green, and blue in percentages to create the monochromatic black and white. So what you can do is you can turn on the monochromatic feature, you can do different combinations of the red, green, and blue color separations to create the black and white. You'll see that there's this little exclamation point here and it's telling me that I'm over a hundred percent. So slap my hand if I keep these within a hundred percent, notice that I don't get the exclamation point. The reason for that is that if you move, let's say, the green too far, what you'll do is start to blow out the information associated with the green channel in its translation into gray. So be aware that that works that way. A variety of presets can be used as well. Interesting, good way to go sometimes. The one I like the best is the black and white feature called black and white adjustment layer. And if I click on it, what I'm doing then is I'm using the color information to create the black and white within the image. So in this case here you can see we have some green foliage. And we can target the green foliage and we can start to either make it lighter or darker depending on how we want it to appear within the image. The Adobe wall has some values of red and yellow and we could pull back on the red and yellow value here and make a different color grayscale. So really it, it does a wonderful job of seasoning the um, information to taste so to speak so that you can create the black and white to your liking. Now the other feature here is this little um, target uh, feature you'll click and drag the image within the image to modify a selected color. So notice what's happening here as I pull and drag within the image. I'm changing the yellows associated with the information in the image. Another feature here is also the tint feature. And the tint fe feature allows you to add color. And so if you wanted to go in and grab a specific color, in this case here I might run down and grab something more on the warm side and I can then bring it down to here and take a look at it and see if it's something I want to incorporate into my black and white. So let's just pull that out for now. Understand that this method also allows you to create presets. You've spent a lot of time creating the different adjustments for a particular black and white, you can save those out as a preset and they would become part of this preset list at some point. Okay, very cool. 